Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft, and joining me today is Cameron Reynolds. He is the president and CEO of Volition RX. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is VNRX on the NYC American. Cameron, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? Great to be back. Excellent. Thank you. Absolutely. It's great to have you back. So uh, let, let's stick right in. I mean, the, the main reason I want to have you on here today is uh, for the, the news that the company just announced uh, just uh, on January 12th about um, the deal with IDEX. You know, we last had you on here in May 2022. At that point, you announced the, the HESCA deal. Um, and then in October last year, you announced this global supply agreement. And then now just, you know, we're recording this on January 19th, a week ago, we find out who that agreement is with, the, the IDEX. So tell us a little bit about this news and what this means for the company. It, it is huge for us. Both the HESCA and the IDEX deal are just fantastic. So we've spent a lot of time and uh, a lot of effort developing a fantastic new Q platform to detect, measure the chromatin fragments. We can very well and robustly now. Um, research is fantastic and patents are fantastic, but ultimately what you want to do is help as many people and living things and, and dogs and cats as possible. Um, and now that we are readily available to every vet in the US through the IDEX network, and soon we believe HESCA is launching on the point of care, it's just a huge moment for us. I don't think it could be bigger. Um, all of our effort, all of the work has now come to fruition and I expect it to be uh, selling very, very well. It's a very accurate test. Uh, it's low cost, it's easy to use. Uh, we couldn't have two better partners. Uh, Hesca is uh, really good at the point of care, meaning a, a machine that can be used in the doctor's office. Uh, we expect them to launch soon and IDEX have launched now. IDEX is a world leader. They have over 80 reference labs. And reference labs make up about 80% of the market currently. And uh, to have their reach, uh, all their sales team, their marketing expertise, and them running the tests is absolutely huge. Uh, our business model is very low capex, very low opex. And for a company our size to be launching this broadly with such a big share of the revenue going to us um, without having to spend very much money at all, just is a fantastic outcome for, for, for the pets and, and also for Volition. Absolutely. So let's put this into context because, you know, it, what what was IDEX doing previously? Did they have a solution like this? And now is Volition coming in with a better, you know, uh, with new Q being better than what they were using, you know, and then how does this deal now translate ultimately? Because folks who are watching this are probably thinking, so, okay, great. You announced the deal. Now you gotta, now, you know, you gotta go out and sell this thing and see what happens. So can, can you hit on both of those points there? Yeah, so the, the current market, uh, there's a few tests out there uh, that are both very recently uh, released, but uh, they're DNA testing or other complicated methods. Um, this is the only routine test. Now, what does routine mean? It means it's regular blood work, can be run in any lab as part of your normal blood work. Um, and also in the human space, there's very, very few tests and nothing that's really FDA approved as a routine blood test. I mean, the PSA a little bit for prostate, but that's not actually approved for screening. So it's a massive breakthrough, a first of its kind, um, and it's absolutely fantastic. And the thing to remember about the deal and what we are doing, we are not we're ever going to need a large sales force. We have a few sales team members, but they're not the sales team. Uh, IDEX has hundreds, uh, Heska and IDEX together can cover the entire market. Um, we do not have our own lab to run the samples. It's been done at their labs or at the point of care with Heska. So it's, it's a system where we can really leverage all the things they are, um, massive networks, worldwide labs, point of care, all of their infrastructure we're leveraging for all those purposes. What we do is I have the intellectual property, we've run the trial, and we're producing the key components, which we get paid for at a, at a very good margin because uh, we're on, it's not a commodity, it's under our intellectual property, and it means they can buy the key components to run the test. Um, so we only have to provide those. We get paid up front. We do not have to wait for a royalty and all that stuff. So we think this is a fantastic business model for a company our size to get maximum effect uh, in the US and then worldwide and in both the laboratory and at the point of care for this test. And the market is uh, potentially absolutely huge. We think the TAM um, for the vet market in cats and dogs is about 11 billion a year. That's not what we get, but the total market. Um, and uh, for dogs, for this test, is probably around four and a half billion dollars a year. So, um, we, and we get uh, up to ten, twelve dollars per test. Each contract's a bit different, but uh, every time they run the test for the key components uh, in, in the lab spaces, um, 
depending on what it is, but it's a very, very good uh, amount of money for us. So 84 million dogs and the target market is the uh, older dogs and of certain breeds over four years old. And that's uh, over 20 million dogs in the US alone, never mind the monitoring test, never mind worldwide. And over half of those dogs in the US uh, go to the vet uh, very regularly for things like blood tests. So huge market and we don't, there's no competition at all in the routine blood test market. Absolutely. So, I mean, was when, how did this deal come together? Was IDEX always the ideal partner that you had in mind? Say, hey, this is this is the strategy we want to do. We think IDEX is the is the one that we need to help make this happen. Yeah, the two partners we have, IDEX and Hesco, are both fantastic partners. There's a few big lab companies, and uh, we're interested actually in licensing to them as well. And uh, we've had discussions uh, with the other the three big ones. Um, and Hesca at the point of care. But IDEX has been a fantastic partner, as is Hesca. Um, the, the labs, um, there are quite a few companies that have lab networks. So it could have been with any of them, but I IDEX has been an absolutely fantastic partner. Very professional, um, very good to launch it uh, worldwide. And they have a fantastic reach. And Hesca has been uh, exceptionally good at the point of care. Um, and, and they're getting ready, I think, to launch their tests soon. So we could not have two better partners. But also, as I said, watch this space. We have licensed to some smaller companies as well. Uh, Sage in Singapore, DNA Tech in Portugal. Of course, our old friends at Texas A&M still running the test commercially as well. So we've got a, a very broad reach. And HESCA has launched in their two labs in Europe and the US as well. Um, so our aim is to make our test available as widely as possible. And the more companies selling it, I think that helps everybody because they help with the marketing. It becomes you know, ubiquitous test. Um, I, I think uh, the companies we've worked with are, are very commercially savvy and realize uh, the more people selling it, the more people out there marketing it, and the more demand there will be for everybody. So um, it's been a fantastic cooperative effort, and we could not be happier with our partners. And we think it's going to be a very successful product. For sure. And I meant to say IDEX and HESCO at the beginning of that question. So, you know, oh, yeah, got, yeah, of course. Yeah. I got to cover, <laughs> my, uh, cover my own, you know, back there. But... <laughs> So, you know, to close this out here on this interview, you know, uh, you know, I wanted to really dig into just just this news specifically. But now, you know, looking ahead from what you can tell us, you know, what's next for Volition? Is it just heads down, focused on, all right, we got these initial deals, these initial agreements, like, let's, let's go here? Or are you continuing, you kind of alluded to it already, or are we continuing to look at some of these smaller licensing deals as well? Oh, we're full steam ahead on many, many fronts. Um, now we've developed the platform, it's now time to monetize it. So um, the, in, in, the, in the vet space, um, expect to see a HESCA's launch in the short term. We're hopeful this quarter, um, and that will be a fantastic milestone as well for them and for us. I expect to see some other bigger deals potentially this, later this year with the bigger companies, and also a range of deals with some of the smaller companies as well, because uh, the, the big companies dominate the US, uh, have a big influence in Europe, but often in the rest of the world, they don't. And in Europe, it's kind of patchy. So to fully be available to every dog in, in every market, we will have other deals. But don't forget, there's also the monitoring. Um, now, the, the screening market is likely bigger, but there are 6 million dogs that get cancer every year in the US. And you wouldn't do the test once if you're monitoring. It could be five times, could be 10 times for the test. So 6 million times 10 is, is a very big TAM um, when you're getting the kind of money uh, we're looking to get. Um, and then we are moving through, uh, we're also working on uh, felines, on cats. We're also working on things like horses and cattle as well, where our tests can be very, very useful. So there's a lot going on in the vet space. Also, uh, just a quick on the rest of the things, uh, the TOSIS, we have an FDA study going right now um, to apply for breakthrough designation status application. We expect to be soon. Um, we've got the C mark for the Natosis product in Europe, and we're doing a lot of work on, on use cases. So expect to see a lot on that. And of course, there's all of our um, human programs. Uh, the same uh, re uh, contract research organization is doing an FDA pre-work for us now in the blood cancers in humans. Um, so it's going to be a very big year. I think it's, uh, I, I couldn't be happy with the progress. We're now, we've managed to change gears from research and development, groundbreaking stuff, fantastic. But really it, it, now it's about commercializing that. And I think we have something very special. And I think, the last thing I'd like to really get across, and this is very important, how do we do all these things with a small company? The technology is exactly the same new Q platform for humans. They say both sides of the, both ends of the leash in the, in the cancers, what works in animals works in humans. 
um, but also the Natosis and Capture it, all that is the same platform. So it's a matter of commercializing it with our different teams. And I'd particularly like to thank our VET team, uh, led by Dr. Tom Butera, who's done an amazing job at commercializing. We're now putting together a team to commercialize the nets as well. Um, and of course, the human counts is coming behind it. So quite a, quite a fascinating year it's going to be as we really commercialize a wide range of products and hopefully become an extremely profitable company. Absolutely. Well, Cameron, I just want to say, look, we've known each other for a long time. I've, I've known the company for a long time. And uh, I got to say, one, congratulations on this news. You know, I'll we'll continue to follow along in the progress. And, uh, you know, look, not bad for a mining guy from Australia, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. It's been quite a journey. And I, I think that the best is still to come. Absolutely. Well, Cameron, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on Volition RX? Um, yes, our website, uh, volition.com. And also, if you're a vet and want to order the product uh, through IDEX, look at their website. You can order it through there. It currently only in the US, but we're hoping they'll roll out uh, through Europe and the rest of the world in the next 12 months and through next year. Very good. Well, Cameron, thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. Thanks. And thank you, everyone, for listening.